Good morning, everybody. It's the first day of the trip with the whole family. We got Diesel in the back, we got Chevy on the floor, we got Frank over there with Britt, the of passengers. Course. We're on our way to Alberta. Actually, we slept in here last night and it was a lot more roomy, clearly, than the Western Star last time Britt came along. That uh, we had two small dogs and one big dog. Now we got two big dogs and one little dog. But actually, isn't that claustrophobic as long as everybody's in their spot? And then if you want to go to a different spot, you have to switch. It's like musical chairs. You just hope you have a spot at the end of it. We're just going around the south end of Winnipeg right now. I'm going to head west from here. We'll be in Saskatoon tonight. Maybe we'll go a little further in Saskatoon, but we're at least going to stop in Saskatoon for a shower. We stopped in Brandon for another coffee and a bite to eat, but this is our first real pit stop here at this rest area at the border with Manitoba and Saskatchewan. Letting the dogs stretch their legs for a little bit here. It's a beautiful day. Hey Diesel. Hey buddy. What you doing? Yeah, we got a decent rest area here. I mean, it's still not up to par with the U.S. rest areas, but it is pretty nice for Manitoba. Uh-oh. <laughs> and off they go. Almost all the snow is melted. And we're officially across the line into Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan? Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. We're getting to Saskatchewan. Gotta go past Regina first. As the Americans pronounce it, Regina. 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 They always look at me funny when I say I'm, I'm in Regina. I don't know why. They look at you funny? Yeah. I take a double take. That's how you pronounce it. Ask any Canadian. So we're gonna stop. Yes. Yeah. We're gonna stop in Saskatoon, Saskatoon for a shower. Saskatoon. And we'll see how we feel. We might go a little further than that after our shower if we have energy and feel like it. If not, we'll just go to bed there and just wake up a little earlier tomorrow. I have to be at my delivery before 2 p.m. Mountain time. Earlier the better, because then we got our reload out of uh, Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan. And that'll get us home Thursday night. So it was a quick trip. It actually worked out pretty good. That Thursday night, uh, Friday, we don't have any plans yet. I might see if my friend wants to get together. Uh, Saturday is my birthday dinner with my father-in-law. It's a joint birthday dinner. Yeah, they're two days apart in birthdays. Yeah. Two days in like 27 years. They're both turning 31 somehow. <laughs> <laughs> and then Sunday, what's Sunday? No plans yet? I'd like there to be no plans. No plans on Sunday. <laughs> and then Monday's my birthday. By the time you watch this, it'll probably be past my birthday. My birthday's actually on April 1st. It's not a joke, it's not an April Fool's joke. Everybody always asks and laughs. April 1st, I'm turning 31. Well into my 30s now. I'm married to an older man. I got some gray hairs. I don't. Because uh, I married a beautiful young woman. In her 20s. In her 20s, yeah. For a few more months anyway. <laughs> yeah, you turn uh, 
Well, it's, your birthday's coming up in July, right? Big 3-0 is on July 25th. Okay, I was gonna let you tell them if you wanted to. I was gonna tell them. Never reveal a woman's age. Oh, I don't care. I still, still look pretty young. Yeah. So yeah, it's her big 30th birthday this year. We gotta plan something big. July 25th. Right? Right. I'm just kidding. I know her birthday. So hey, maybe I should ask you guys for ideas. Again, maybe probably not, because if you give me all your ideas in the comment section, she's gonna see them. I'm not gonna read them, I promise. Yeah. I won't. I'm not like that, I'm not snoopy. When I know that there's presents in the house and stuff, I never look for them. I'm not like that. I don't like ruining surprises. I love surprises. <laughs> family rolling down the highway. Frankie's just laying on the floor going, oh, but I need a new family. <laughs> How is it there, Diesel? How is it? Doing good? Tastes good? Chevy. How you doing, bud? How you doing? You already had your meal. Can I go in there? <laughs> That's Frankie's safe space from you guys, your big clumsy feet. <laughs> Full house. <laughs> Still roomier than the Western Star. Yeah, that Western Star was not practical at all. Uh -uh. Even for one person, it was too small. I'm not a fan. They ruined the name for me with just that one mate. So we're in Davidson, Saskatchewan, just waiting for Diesel to finish his supper here, and we're gonna run in and get some Timmies, and then head up to Saskatoon, grab a shower at the Flying J, and then we'll decide if we want to continue on further or we want to just spend the night there. I have a feeling we'll probably just spend the night there. Not push ourselves too too far, too hard. But uh, it's not as cramped as you might think it would be. I mean, it's it's cozy, and everyone sort of got their their own space. Come on, Chef. Come on up here. Come on. We'll definitely have to do a little bit of cleaning tomorrow before the hair gets out of control. Right now, it's fine. But. Yeah. A little messier than I would like it, but it is what it is. We get to go home to a nice clean house, so it's okay. <laughs> and Diesel is just the slowest eater on the face of the planet. He's got a process. He needs to arrange it properly. And he takes kibbles out of his bowl and leaves them in specific spots. Nobody can disturb that. He's a creature of habit. He's a crazy dog. <coughs> but... Uh, we just have the kennel in here just for Frankie, just for when we leave the truck, that uh, we can put him safely in here. Otherwise, the big guys might step on him. And with his back surgery and everything, we didn't want to risk that. So just when we're out of the truck and 
uh, it's his safe spot, so he feels safe in there and uh, in an unfamiliar environment where everything's shaking, rattling, and lots of noise all the time. It's his little getaway. Are you done, Weez? You done, Diesel? You done? All right, I guess it's time for us to go in and get some Timmy's then. Getting kind of tired. I'm, I think I'm ready to go to bed in Saskatoon. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting bored. Nighttime driving, not a fan. Uh-oh, she's getting bored. No, I like the daytime stuff. <laughs> yeah, you're just not a nighttime fan at all. As soon mm -hmm. as the sun goes down, you're like, ah, oh, this this isn't... Good. Even at home, I fade quick. I'm, I'm more of a daytime girl. And I'm a night owl. <laughs> Anyways, let's go get our Timmy's. I need a coffee. Well, we got our Timmy's, so at least we got that. That place was gross. <laughs> yeah, that was disgusting. Every garbage can in the place was overflowing and just surrounded by garbage, even in the bath women's bathroom, she said. Oh, it was, it everything was, was broken. The lock on the door, instead of being an actual sliding lock, it was a riveted screw that you can cut yourself on. Uh, and then they had a garbage can for people to use on the counter on where the they counter. serve you. It and was the only empty one, in, or half empty one in the place. And it also took him, well, what, 10 minutes just to make a coffee? One and he got it wrong? One employee <laughs> could barely yeah. speak English. He was so hard to understand. Yeah, I couldn't understand him. Like, oh my gosh. I felt bad for him, to be honest. He needed another what? person in there, someone who could speak a little bit more fluently. Yeah. And, uh, and just to him. help him. Yeah, so, someone, he needs help to take out the garbages to clean the place. All the counters were filthy. As a former Tim Hortons employee, I was completely disgusted. Yeah. I is. would have gone in there and ripped my coworkers a new one. <laughs> I would have been fired <laughs> if I had walked in there. Or they would have been fired. Or they would have been fired. Yeah, I wouldn't have been I, fired. It should have been, the, yeah, it should be them getting fired, but... Yeah, I think the main cause with this guy, he needed help. There was, he was yeah. one guy. He had to do the drive through the counter, uh, and make all the sandwiches, the food, the coffees. Everything. Poor guy. Everything. And he couldn't even speak the language to communicate with the customers. He must have just been lost. Oh, he must have been. Yeah, he must be having one heck of a so, bad night. I hope it's not like that for him all the time. Yikes. Anyways, I feel bad for the guy, and at the same time, I feel bad for us because, you know, we got the bad service, but it wasn't really his fault completely, so he's having a rough night. Which in turn, at least I got my coffee. That's why I said, at least I got my coffee, right? I got my coffee. And he's gonna have his check at the end of the day, so at the end of the day, we both win. There we go. Okay, let's, let's get going here. <sighs> All right, you ready? A little bit further to go. Good to go? Yep. Can't roll so we're about, I think, an hour and a little bit from Saskatoon. I'm hoping we're gonna find a parking spot at that Flying J. Uh, if not, we can always go to the Petro Pass and grab a shower there. There's not usually as many people parked there. But I would rather stop at the Flying J. I gotta go there for fuel anyway. All right, guys, we're just playing musical chairs here. You guys just stay there. Chevy, you stay there. We just got the mattress down from there, setting it up down here for Brit. It's pretty cozy, Josh was right. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Wish I'd brought my third pillow along, but some people think that that's excessive and uh, they're probably right, but the way I like to sleep. Three pillows. So then we'll move the rest of this. A lot of this is her bedding and my bedding there. And the rest of this goes onto the floor. Can and you reach my quilt? I'm a little short. I could. This is a big one here? Mm-hmm. It's not big. It's pretty small actually. I think it's only a double quilt. And then I'll sleep up there. She can sleep down there. Diesel slept on the bed with Britt yesterday. He is an excellent cuddler. Yeah. He doesn't get too close, stays off to the side, but he's there if I want to give him a kiss or a pat. 
And then Frank sleeps in his house just so that he's safe. Well, he sleeps with either Brit or in his house just so that he's safe for the night. And Chevy gets the whole floor to himself. Gets to stretch on out. And he has so much fur that he never gets cold. <laughs> yeah. In fact, we invite him to sleep on the bed at home with us. He always jumps off like 10, 15 minutes later. He's, he's off because he gets too hot. He's got too much fuzz. Hey buddy, you tired. Oh. Now we can see you. So day number one was a success. We didn't kill each other and we made it to where we wanted to. It was actually really fun. It's, it was. It, it, you'd think that it would be packed. I explained this a little bit before. There's a lot more space in here than it seems. And as long as you know you have well-trained dogs like we do and everybody sort of waits their turn, it's a little cramped and you know you got to stop like we did earlier and let them run around and get their hearts pumping but uh we should be it's doing fun the same for us yeah oh we will well i gotta stop by the gym on the way back i might just go to the one in steinbach or maybe we'll stop at the one here in saskatoon on the way back we have a lumber load that's waiting for us in meadow lake saskatchewan it's going to take us right through saskatoon again so we might be able to stop in at the gym on the way home if not, I will make sure to go every day while I'm at home. And I'll hit the treadmill hard while I'm at home. Mm -hmm. All right, just need my pillows and then I can get the heck out of your way and start brushing my teeth. There's your pillows up here. Uno. That's Uno. not the good one. There's another one up there. The 50 pound pillow. <sighs> Oops, holding the camera and climbing up here. Not a good idea. Uh, this one. There you Thank go. you. Yeah, and the key is organizing. Make sure you keep everything organized up there. We are not very good at it. Well, I think everything's very well organized. That's what I was saying. Maybe. The key you to didn't it is. See my cubby. Well, the so cubbies so. need to be organized, but I mean, up here, I had everything organized with our my bedding is there, her bedding is there, and then our two clothing bags are in the center where you can reach them easily. That's and then the bed on the back on the top and then everything covered by this seat belt. Okay, so now we're gonna get Diesel to come lay on the bed. I'm oh, gonna go there to brush my teeth. Little guy can come lay on the bed for a while. Careful for a while too. Okay, Diesel. Come on, Diesel. On the bed, bud. There you go. Lay down. Good boy. And you stay here for a bit, Chev, okay? Good boy. I'll brush your teeth too. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyways, Thanks for tagging along with us today on this crazy adventure. Hope to see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Tomorrow we gotta deliver this load and pick up a new one, so a little bit more stuff going on.